Hi, so I'm here today to speak to you about our latest version of Whereabouts, which is our tracking solution. And this version is combining Bluetooth beacons tracking, Wi-Fi tracking, and the camera tracking. So um, I'm going to explain a little bit more how it works, but let me, uh, let me show you a little bit of what we're going to do today. So I did the fingerprints uh, in, this, uh, in this building, and what I want to do now is to be able to track the uh, device that I'm, uh, I'm going to carry, okay? So the idea of combining those three methods is not because we want to, uh, you know, do everything at once and throw everything in the kitchen sink. Depending on the scenario that you have, you might want to use one or the other or, you know, two combined or three combined, etc. Wi-Fi is an excellent method when you are in an area where there are already a lot of Wi-Fi access points installed. For example, if you're in an office building, if you're in a metropolitan area in the city, there are a lot of, you know, all the Wi-Fi access points of the neighbors are going to help you get a good position. So that's very good. You can just walk in, do the fingerprint, and, it's, and you're ready to go. So that's Wi-Fi. Bluetooth is a little bit different. But Bluetooth tracking can be very useful in some areas where you don't have any Wi-Fi. For example, if you want to track people in a, in a mine, in a coal mine, for example. Well, there's no Wi-Fi there, okay? So you can just plant the Bluetooth beacons and you're going to use, to, uh, use that to track them. So I have here two, uh, um, two Bluetooth beacons. Um, this one is uh, like a USB and this one is, uh, is powered with, uh, uh, with a battery. I like this one better because, you know, you can, you can do that, uh, just plug it into a, like a USB wall charger here. Uh, let me, it's a little bit hard. There you go. And you just plug it and then you have your Bluetooth beacon. So. Those uh, beacons are coming from our partner, uh, Rad Beacons, um, and they're very cool. So if, and if you want to use that in a battery powered mode, you can always use that kind of battery and just uh, use that. So these are the beacons. Like I was saying, if you are in a, in a coal mine uh, or in the subway, for example, you don't have uh, a lot of Wi-Fi access points there, you're just going to use that and you, you will be able to track your device. The camera uh, positioning is also uh, very useful in a place where um, you don't want to install anything. You just want to use the ambient, um, you know, decoration, if you will. Um, so the fingerprinting is just going to consist in, 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 in taking a, a, a video uh, throughout the, the area and you know, all, all, each time the, the camera is going to see something that it, it already saw before, then it's going to match uh, the location. So, for example, you know, it could be very useful in a shopping mall or that kind of thing where, you know, there's a lot of distinct stores, etc. Camera tracking will work very well there. So here I also have the type of device th that, that can be tracked. So, of course, you can track a smartphone. Uh, with this system, you can track, uh, you know, that kind of tag. I like this one because, you know, you have the camera here, you have the Bluetooth, you have the Wi-Fi. So it's, uh, you know, it, it's a device that works for everything. I'm just going to carry it and that's how we're going to do our experiment today. So I'm going to put it here um, and, you know, I'm going to track uh, my position inside the building. And then there's this little tag here I like also. It's a uh, it's very small, you can carry it here. It, it has also a camera, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, or you, know, you can also carry it with your belt or attach it to an object. And same thing, it will uh, track the device using one of these uh, three components. So now let's turn to the uh, configuration to see how this whole works. So I'm going to go in the configuration screen here uh, I'm going to select the uh, configuration for the smart tag. 
And so if I, if I look at the devices that are, are here, I'm going to focus on the combo tag, this one, okay? Uh, and I look at the configuration. Um, and here, so this tag is configured to transmit every five seconds. Um, and as you can see, you know, it has, um, let me see. Uh, oh. So I'm, I'm using camera positioning, you know, rear camera only. I'm using uh, Bluetooth iBeacon, um, you know, it's using together with Wi-Fi. Uh, so that's, uh, that's here. Uh, so I'm using here the whole shebang. I'm using the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, and the, the camera. So now let's see my position here. I look at the map. Okay, combo tag. So I'm here in the office uh, right now, and this is the orange uh, area that we have um, over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk in the corridor, um, and you know, hopefully our location should be updated over there. So what it is tracking is this uh, device that I'm wearing. So let's see. Um, yeah. Um, So I'm going to enter the corridor. You should uh, you should see in the corner the location being uh, updated. Um, let's keep walking. All right. So. I'm all the way at the end of the corridor now. Um, the location that is showing on the screen should be uh, updated. I, I, I cannot see because uh, you know I'm not in front of the computer, but you can see that the location is being updated. So uh, I hope you like the video. Again, you know this latest version using Bluetooth beacons, Wi-Fi, and camera for optimal positioning in any possible scenario.